load the yak, and we're off to the next. It's pretty funny starting a video at a campground that I haven't even left yet for a new video. Welcome back. We are now leaving one campground to uh, go film another video at another campground. So I got a plan in mind though before we get there. A couple spots I might want to try checking out and fishing. They kind of almost look like a little spillway. Try to get some fish. I have an idea tonight for some uh, fish tacos if it all works out. I'm going to try to make some again. But uh, yeah, anyways, let's get moving, get on the road and See if we can catch some fish. I did some scouting here on my Onyx. Found a couple spots that look pretty interesting, kind of like spillway. And I like spillways, so I'm gonna drive over here. It looks pretty juicy. Could be wrong, but we'll find out when we get there. So what's nice about when you got too much stuff charging, I just got the power box just chilling here in my passenger seat, charging up the GoPro again. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hey bear. Hey. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a bear right there. That was cool. He's still right there. There he goes. That's one thing about this camera that I really do not like is the zoom and how it focuses. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I thought it was a bear, so I went flying down the road trying to get up to it as fast as I could, and it actually walked right at me for a minute before it cut off into the woods. And it was a little guy, it's probably a little over 100 pounds maybe. It wasn't that big, but that's pretty cool. Not every day do you get to see a bear. I was waiting to see one though. That's pretty cool. I was hoping at some point, because there's a lot of bears up here, this neck of the woods. That's number one first bear for me this year that I've seen, so that's pretty cool. Well, that's quite unfortunate. Literally just went to use this bathroom really quick and came back out and some lady had showed up and it looks like she's going to fish right where I wanted to, so I think I'm gonna probably head out of here, hold off on this place, maybe hit it later, maybe not. Um, just hit it next time I'm up here, I guess. Looks pretty nice down there though. Oh no way. It's a big rock bass. That was like instantly. It's a good one. That was kind of a bust. Caught a couple rock bass. Check this little spillway out. There's people everywhere I wanted to be. They were catching fish. Looks like nice pan fish. And uh, yeah, they weren't leaving. So what I'm gonna do is I got another spot not too far from here. I'm gonna go check out. I've actually never fished that either. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna drive to it and see if we can find some fish. Well, it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. I'm hoping that the weather holds off. At least uh, from the most part of the day, it'd be nice because I will plan on fishing pretty much all day. So if we get rained on a little bit, we get rained on, I guess, but I'm uh, bound and determined to try get enough for a meal. So I've been trying a couple places and then after this, I'm probably gonna head back to the campground I plan on staying at tonight and uh, go from there. Baby smallmouth. Nice. Oh shoot. That is cool. I do have a fish, guys. I didn't think it was at first. I think it's a nice smallie. Whoa. Easy, bud.
Oh man, that is so fun on this light tackle. Come on, bud. <laughs> they got a lot of fight in them. Come on, bud. big but put up a good fight on a really light rod so awesome throw this guy on smally might crush it northern walleye i always see pig patrol using rattle baits below spillways so you never know wow this thing cast Green. Oh no way, it's got crushed right there in the current. That is awesome. <laughs> Watch that fish hit it. <laughs> First cast with that bait. And I stitched his mouth shut. There you go. Well, that's pretty fun. Caught a couple little smallies and uh, one decent one. I'm headed back though. I'm gonna work my way over to the campground I want to stay at and uh, probably fish the rest of the day out there. It's a little windy though, so I'm a little worried on how uh, it's gonna be with the kayak, but we're gonna find out, so see you guys shortly. Well, I just tried, decided to come back down here again. I've fished here before, and uh, this is the lowest I've ever seen it. Couldn't get a fish to bite, so I threw a chunk of crawler on, and I honestly thought this was a walleye at first, but it's a decent large mouth. After uh, multiple stops this morning, I caught some fish. Um, definitely not what I was looking for. Uh, a couple bass, a couple uh, rock bass. Actually, caught rock bass, smallmouth, and largemouth, so. Multi-species, but anyways, I'm headed to the campground. I'm almost there, just grab some ice. The coolers were sitting in my back of my truck yesterday, and it was absolutely miserable, humid and hot, so. All the ice had melted refilled the coolers with good ice and uh, I'm gonna hopefully go out catch a cluster of panfish and then uh, I plan on making some juicy tacos again tonight so if all goes well I'll be eating good it is cloudy out it's not supposed to rain I guess that's what I heard and I looked at the weather and it doesn't look like it's supposed to rain so hopefully uh, we luck out today and don't get hit by some showers out there in the yak and the wind didn't actually look too bad on the lake, so I'm pretty excited about that. So get out there and hopefully catch some fish. That's kind of funny. Uh, I just got to the campsite. I'm actually in the same site I did a couple videos ago. Uh, same campground, same site actually. I have a little bit of different, uh, well, I have something a little different in mind. I want to make fish tacos again, but I kind of want to make them beefier, more stuff. Um, and then I also want to put some Taco Bell sauce on them and see if they actually taste good. Um, I'll have to find it, but okay, right here. I'd like to try this on some fish tacos. I think it'd be pretty bomb, so I'm hoping we can catch some fish. All right, guys, we are back out here again. Just getting over here to the spot where the panfish should be. It's pretty weedy. I don't know if it was this weedy last time right here. That's like really weedy. 
has me a little concerned. It's gonna be hard to fish, but we're gonna find out. Wow, yeah, that's weedy. The weeds are right up to the water. Hmm, well, let's give it a dangle, I guess. I have a feeling we're gonna be in a lot of weeds. I swear everything good happens when I turn the camera off. He ain't bad, but just a little short. Feels a little bit bigger. Oh, man, not terrible. You know what? I'm gonna keep him just because I want tacos really bad. Wow, they're stacked up right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is fun. If I just drop it right here, I could probably get one. Yep. Just like that. Right over the side of the kayak. They're pulling me all over. Oh my gosh, guys. That is a dandy. That is a dandy. Wow, that was action-packed. Wow, three casts in a row. The last two, I guess I wasn't recording. Oh, he's not too bad. We'll keep him. Yeah, that's a nice kill. We decided to come out here. This was definitely the move. Another one. Wow, <laughs> this is so much fun. I love this. This beautiful fish, too. Oh my goodness. in business oh my gosh that's just stupid it's like instant oh yeah this is great I love this nice gills That's a nice one. That's a really nice gill. That is a stud. I think it's about pulled my rod in, guys. I had it sitting over the side of the boat. Or kayak. Watch this. No way. Look at that. Unbelievable. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> There's barely any worm on there. Let's do it again. 
We already look at that. Unbelievable. Waiting for a bass to finally take it. Last time I ever see my rod. Pumpkin seed. It's a pretty good sized pumpkin seed actually. Ouch, prick. They're just all over this thing. They're so stacked up in there, it's crazy. Gosh dang, he's probably good, man. Especially for the size. That is a nice kill, though. Well, that was a very quick limit of bluegills. You got 10 bluegills and one perch so far. Uh, let a lot of borderline ones go. Um, I'm actually gonna go out now in deeper water and hopefully try to maybe muster up some crappies. Not sure how that's gonna go, but uh, we'll give it a jingle and see what happens. Oh, night are back. I got my... 11 panfish, bluegills, and one perch. Get them back to camp, start flying them, and make some fish tacos. Well, back to camp. Just organizing a little bit. Got uh, limited gills in there and one perch. I'm going to flay them here in a minute. Get them soaking, get them ready for uh, supper. these up quick. Bluegills are all flayed up. Oh yeah, then we're gonna be good. For lunch, I'm making my usual, and then for supper, it'll be a little bit more gourmet. I'm gonna try using this Taco Bell cream of chipotle sauce, so should be good. Okay, they're all cut up. And I'm gonna mix in Red hot. Yeah, it's not nice. Let these soak for a while. I'm probably gonna go take a swim. Maybe put the goggles on, look for some fish, and then come back and be eating good. suck I'm not gonna lie <laughs> until after that's yeah, gonna feel nice oh it feels nice it does Phew. we did her pretty crazy how clear that water is Bluegills down here. <laughs> Normally you see smallmouth. <laughs> I 
if you guys have never finger fished, you gotta try it. I'm gonna show you guys right now. Well, now, right in the sand. I'm gonna try to show you guys the underwater footage of it. I do have some medium as well. Well, one thing I'm never done, I guess, is mix both of them. So much I'm gonna do. That way we get more batter, cause decent amount of fish there. It's gonna need it probably. Yeah, probably we'll take both down here. All right, guys, well, had some fun finger fishing. Back to the truck. I'm about to make some tacos here. Let's see, pan. So I'm gonna put the oil in. These are gonna be bomb. Beer of the night is good old natural white. Hey, that rhymed. Cheap and beer's beer, can't go wrong. Mmm. I was at the gas station today and I still forget to get cheese. Damn it. Oh well. I guess we'll make do without it. Getting ready. I'm gonna chop up some onion, some jalapeno. Turn the heat up just a little bit. I think it's gonna make them a lot more crispy. So they should be perfect. All right. Well, forgot the cheese. I do have this to try. Let's see. Creamy chipotle sauce. Give it a taste test. Oh my gosh. Mm. That's gonna be bomb on these tacos. I'm excited for this. Mm-hmm. Tastes just like the Taco Bell uh, chicken quesadilla. But it's gonna be on fish. It's gonna be good. Give one of these a taste test. Mmm.
perfect timing. It's almost done. I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna make myself some tacos. And I'm probably gonna go throw some more baits right before dark. Probably not gonna catch a fish, but there's a very slim chance that there might be a smallie waiting for a meal. Alright y'all, it's time for a taco. Tortilla, no cheese this time. But we got a pile of fish. I'll throw a good chunk of that on there. But, uh, that might be too much. Throw a bunch of onion on there. I mean a lot of onion. Jalapeno. Had a couple jalapenos, so I just chopped them up. Forgot the lettuce. Some garden fresh lettuce. Some chipotle Taco Bell sauce. little bit of our hot, uh, or not hot, but spicy sour cream. That is a loaded taco right there. Oh. Killer. That sauce right there, guys, is killer. Oh my. Oh. That is phenomenal. They were good to begin with, very good to begin with, let alone that sauce. Mmm. <clears throat> it's good. Definitely spicy, but super good. If you guys ever make anything, I'd even try something like chicken. It'd be awesome. I think it's what's technically meant for but this is just some bluegill plays that I battered up and then yeah threw this on top with my sour spicy sour cream and it made for a awesome combination definitely gonna be using this again mm -mm -mm. all right y'all I just ate that delicious supper those fish tacos are bomb. Um, just setting up the reflectix here in my truck. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna probably have a little bit of a fire and then I'm gonna honestly just get cozy in here, hang out and watch a movie tonight. Let's see if we can get a little st fire started here. Nice, peaceful, relaxing night. Got music at the bar down the road. Nice fire. I'm gonna watch this for a bit. And then I'm gonna go back in my truck and pick out a movie and lay low and hang out. Just climbing in. It's about 11.20. It's pretty cool. You can hear the bullfrogs out there on the lake. But yeah, I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna put a movie on. I'm gonna lay down. And probably gonna crash, so. I'm gonna plug my fan in. Hang it up here. This is what keeps me nice and cool at night. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I'm gonna 
put a movie on and relax. I'm not gonna lie, this reflective stuff is definitely worth the investment if you're trying to keep security, you know. And uh, yeah, like I said, if you go on the outside right now, you can't see any light. That's how nice it is. So I definitely, uh, definitely got my money's worth out of it for the twenty dollars a roll, whatever it is. And yeah, it keeps strangers from looking through your windows. So lock yourself in. You're good to go. But yeah, anyways, I am gonna put a movie on. I'm gonna lay low and it's late. Probably finish this movie if I even make it through it and get a good night's sleep and see you guys bright and early. For tonight, I decided I'm gonna watch I Am Wrath. If you guys have not seen that movie, you should probably check it out. It's a pretty good movie. John Travolta. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna watch this and uh, afterwards I'm gonna lay down, turn my fan on, and head to bed. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh man. Good morning, everybody. It's seven. And I'm tired. I slept all right last night. Um, yeah, it's just, I should probably get going, get on the road. Got mosquitoes buzzing me too, so that's annoying, but yeah, I'm going to get a move on here. Get home and uh, get back to Lauren and my daughters, so. Sure is beautiful this morning. That's one thing I have to do almost every time I truck camp is wipe off the condensation in the windows. Well, I mean mainly the front window, but which is a little annoying, but oh well, I guess. New logo for your team or business? Is there a special event? And we're off. Sadly, another camping trip is come and gone. Feels like they always fly by, but it was fun. Made some good food, got some fish, did some finger fishing, and uh, yeah, it was fun. Anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. Just leaving the campground right now. I still got a drive ahead of me. I'm gonna get home and get back to my daughters and Lauren. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed these last couple videos anyways. If you could, if you can give them a thumbs up, a like, subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching as always, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. On my way home, I'm on the highway and happened to look at my phone before I left camp and uh, had enough service. I checked my phone, checked my email, and sure enough, I drew a Wyoming antelope tag again this year. So, looks like we'll be going back. Hopefully, my dad drew one too. But yeah, just figured I'd tell you guys. <laughs>